Hey, this is Michael Pena with Teens Want to Know. Today we're at the Paley Center for Media Paley Fest previews. Let's see who we can talk to. Teens Want to Know stopped by the Paley Center for Media in Beverly Hills to talk to the stars of two new shows coming up on ABC, Trophy Wife and Back in the Game. Both of them deal with families and the challenges they go through, although in very different ways. Hey, we're here with Bailey Madison who plays Hillary. Hi! What's the best part about playing the role? Oh, it's amazing. I think she's definitely kind of representing all the teens out there and kind of all the crazy emotions that, that she kind of goes through. And uh, she's a, she's so sweet and she's so vulnerable and uh, and she has a lot of fun. And I think throughout the season you're going to really get to see her kind of becoming, becoming herself and finding out who she is. So tell us about how you got the role because I know you were in the pilot episode, right? That's it, yes. Um, uh, that, I had no clue what was going on in, in that whole thing, I swear. Um, and I just took a meeting with ABC just in general just to yeah. meet with uh, with casting and, and just kind of, you know, get to thank them for, for everything we've done with once and mm-hmm. um, found myself walking out of the room with a meeting with Sarah and the creators not knowing still what was happening and uh, and met with them and then a week later got the most incredible and surprising news in the entire in the entire world and I'm still pinching. I still don't think it's real. I really don't. I still don't know what's happening um, but I'm so grateful and I'm so excited and hopefully everyone loves uh, hopefully everyone loves my Hillary. Trophy Wife is about a blended family. In your opinion, what really makes a family a family? What really makes a family a family? Um, just the fact that no matter what is happening, no matter how crazy, no matter how dysfunctional, no matter how different you are, the fact that everyone is pitching in to, to make the best things work for their kids and, and for their families is something that really makes family a family. And at the end of the day, you know, sitting down and getting to watch a TV show uh, and, and just loving being with each other and spending time with each other, I think that's something that really is uh, really is the definition of family. So now tell us about Alex's lemonade stand. Um, well, basically, it's really exciting in September, it's actually National Childhood Cancer Awareness Month, uh, so it's a lot of fun. And for those of you who don't know, it was founded by a little girl named Alex Scott, diagnosed with neuroblastoma the day before her first birthday, and at four years old, she started having lemonade stands to help uh, raise money and to help find a cure with the doctors. Um, and it's really about no matter how old you are, you can make a difference in this world, and kind of all pitching together, having a lemonade stand, and, and kind of all joining together to find a cure, and uh, it'll be a lot of fun. So have a lemonade stand and spread the word. Trophy Wife is about a blended family, and you're opinion, what makes a family a family? Oh, uh, caring for each other. Mm. I think you can have a lot of different kinds of families, lots of alternative families these days. And so um, usually it's about kids somehow being involved, but not always, and about a lifestyle that people create where they're caring for each other and Mm. guiding each other. And um, in this particular case, there's also some bloodlines. There's marriages and uh, divorces and adoptions and a home. Love. I love, uh, plain and simple, I think, you know, e- even if you're a, a uh, even if it's your uncle, it doesn't have to be a label as your mom. If it's your uncle and you love him, it's it's obviously family. And so I think love is the answer to a family. So we're here with my buddy Albert. Tell us about your character. Well, my character is Bert. He's uh, seven years old. He's the youngest child in the family, and he's the son of uh, Pete and Jackie. Mm-hmm. And um, he's really smart and funny, and he loves animals. And pretty much like me, we're really co- uh, we have a lot in common. But the one thing different is that in real life, I'm the only child. Mm. But Bert's part of this really big family. So you're kind of a troublemaker too, like Bert, then, right? Huh. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Tell us about your character. Oh, she's amazing. She's uh, well, she's ex-wife number two. Mm-hmm. She's like sort of the opposite of ex-wife number one, played by Marcia Gay Harden who's like a real serious, you know, um, hair splitter and taskmaster. And then my character is more um, a serious nut job. I think what makes a family a family is that sense that somebody always has your back, no matter. If, if, if things got real bad, that somebody would, would have your back. And, um, and I think that this family, despite all their shortcomings or, or whatever it is, or all the different machinations that they are, you know, like there's step-siblings and half-siblings and not even half-siblings, it's all step-siblings, stepmothers, stepmothers that aren't even your stepmother anymore because now there's a new stepmother. Um, What do you do with that? It's like there's still that bond, you know, it's like a really good bond where you know they'd all take a bullet for each other. If you could step in a time machine and give one piece of advice to your teen self, what would it be? Uh, 
Okay, I cover your ears. <laughs> okay. Here's the thing. If I knew what, I think every woman should have to have a 14 year old boy before they're ever allowed to date. And the reason is, is because if you know how much time I spent being like, okay, so he called me and he said, what's up? Did he mean like, what's up? Or did he mean like, what's up? Or was he like, what's up? Like analyzing, boys aren't thinking about that. All boys are thinking is, what? is up. <laughs> They're not reading into it. They're not trying to get anything from it. They're just saying, what's up? Words of wisdom. <laughs> In your guys' opinion, what makes a family a family? That's a great question. Yeah, That's like a nice. philosophy question. Yeah. I think everybody wanting the best for everybody else. Mm -hmm. Everybody lo loving everybody else. I mean, we've talked about how this is sort of a show yeah. where no one's the villain, and it's like the different ex-wives and the new wife, and they don't necessarily get along, but everyone wants the same thing, which is for the kids to be happy, for the family to function as a unit, and everybody to, you know, love each other. Well, now it's time for our time machine question. Time machine. Yeah, if you guys could travel, <laughs> if you guys could travel, travel back in time and give one piece of advice to your teen self, what would it be? Oh, that's oh my such a good question. I ask stuff like this all the time. Yeah. There are so many. Oh my gosh. It would probably be start writing with Sarah real quick. It's going to be awesome. Don't worry about dating. Mm. It will happen. Follow your passions. Be your own person. Yeah, Once you get outside of your little high school, you're going to be fine. Yeah. So your family is kind of dysfunctional on the show, right? Uh, very, yeah. yes. <laughs> so in your opinion, what does make a family a family? Oh man, I, I, I mean look, I think there's some basics. I think I think there's love, uh, obviously, but like, and there, there you have that bond with your family always, but um, you know, I think it's also you, you as any as any relationship with anyone, um, you do have to work on it, and yeah. and when it gets tough, you you have to sort of deal with it, and as hard as it might be, and and get past it, and hopefully maybe you don't, but like um, I think that's what builds that bond. I mean, I think that's why families have that is that you know it's just history and time and going through so many things together. Uh, Back in the game is a uh, it's a family comedy set in the world of Little League. Um, starring James Caan, Maggie Lawson. That vest uh, has a lot of pockets. <laughs> <laughs> if it was green, you'd be a pool table. What's the most challenging part about doing the show? Working with James Caan. Working with James Caan. <laughs> he's, he, well, he forgets all of his lines and he's very mean. Imagine the most unprepared uh, human being on the planet. Then double it. <laughs> so tell us about your character. That's it. It's a wise guy. No, um, he, uh, I'm trying to make him one of the most horrifying people you've ever seen. <laughs> and now you work with a lot of child actors in the show. What's the most rewarding part about working with kids? Just being with kids. I, you know, in real life, I, in 1981 or two, I think, after I, right after Thief or something, I quit for six years. I lost my sister and I was a little messed up. Yeah. But I coached kids for six years, that's all I did. I didn't do a movie and I quit. Oh, wow. Yeah, I took care of my career right there. <laughs> I was going too good. So, uh, but I enjoyed it, I had a blast. Yeah. So I have, uh, you know, the reward is immediate. You know, you don't have to wait six months for them to cut it and put music to it. I make a kid do something and he can do it and man, they just beam and, you know, all of a sudden they're walking with a cocky swagger of guys who were just intimidated <laughs> before, so it's really, a great thing to do in real life. If you could travel back in time and give one piece of advice to your teen self, what would it be? Don't fizzle out, crash and burn. Live. Hey everyone, it's Bailey Madison and you're watching Teens Wanna Know. Hi, I'm Michaela Watkins. You're watching Teens Wanna Know. Hi, I'm Maggie Lawson and you're watching Teens Wanna Know. Hi, I'm Rob Cullen. We're the executive producers of Back in the Game, ABC, Wednesday, 8.30. That was pretty good. That was yeah. strong. Okay. That was strong. Right? You can, you can make that into a package, right? 